<laughs> now we play a round called You've Got to Be Corbinet to Win It. <laughs> this game involves Nathan Caton and Ed Gamble. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched a wheel of news and whoever chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. And the first topic is home life. Nate. Yeah, I could talk about home life. Um, I, uh, I still live at home with my mum still. <laughs> Thanks for the judgmental silence. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I live at home. Um, my, my mate's giving the most stick for it, because I'm the last one in my group of friends who still lives at home uh, with my mum. They've all moved out, so they see me as a mummy's boy. And every time they see me, they're like, Nathan, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you still at your mum's, man? Are you embarrassed? Why are you still at your mum's? Why are you still at your mum's? It's like, I live in West London. Have you seen house prices? I'm not going anywhere, man. <laughs> if anything, I'm looking at my mum thinking, when are you going to bloody leave? <laughs> Cleaning on, let it go, woman. <laughs> She's going to slap the black off me when she sees this. <laughs> so, yeah, I like peace and quiet. Although, to be honest, at home, I, I, I'm not getting a lot of peace and quiet at the moment. Uh, mainly because of my mum and my stepdad. Uh, they got married quite recently. And um, I'm happy for my mum. You know, she's found happiness. She deserves it. However, at the moment, they're going through um, that whole that, that honeymoon phase where they're having sex all the time. <laughs> yeah, it is bloody disturbing, man. <laughs> Because uh, my bedroom is like right next door, so like every time they do it, I hear everything. Like um, a few Saturdays ago, right? It's late at night. I'm about to go to sleep. From next door, I can hear my stepdad going, "Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh lord, oh lord, say something nasty, say something nasty, say something nasty." <laughs> so I screamed out, "You're not my real dad!" <laughs> Thank you very much, Jaden. OK, that leaves us with Ed. Let's see what topic you've been left with. And the topic is diet. <laughs> I hope this isn't just a hint that I need to lose weight. Because uh, I've, I've lost quite a lot of weight recently. Uh, anyway, I've lost uh, about six stone in the last uh, three years. Cheers, guys. Thanks. I mean, no. <laughs> Too late. You went with the British reaction. Thank you very much. <laughs> couldn't give a shit, mate. Carry on. We don't... <laughs> Stop showing off. We don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I found myself in a bit of a nightmare situation recently. Uh, I went to the Middle East to do some gigs. Uh, now, that bit was nice, that was lovely, but they put you up in a hotel where the food is all-you-can-eat buffets three times a day for ten days. Now, this is a nightmare scenario for me because I cannot be trusted at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Sometimes I don't even remember the buffet bit. All I remember is picking up a plate and I'll wake up six hours later covered in rice and sauce. <laughs> And I can't see my buffet. I can't see my buffet either. I won't pick up a plate and go, oh, I'll have some rice, I'll have some curry. Well done, Ed, you've made yourself an Indian meal. <laughs> <laughs> won't do that. I'll get a plate, I'll get a spoon, and I'll run along the full line of trays, <laughs> just scraping food from every nation onto it until I've got some sort of plate pangea, <laughs> just an unidentifiable mass, just Spanish food, Japanese food, Chinese food, Indian food, coffee, sushi, just horrible. <laughs> just wedge my face into it, everyone going, is that man all right? Go, Don't look at me! <laughs> I'm having a buffet! <laughs> from all over the world. My body for 10 days had no idea where I was on this planet. <laughs> I went for a shit three days in, a UN flag came out. <laughs> well done. Get on, Come on back. <laughs>